Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this particular training, I wanna to talk to you about how you can use HubSpot and PhoneBurner to power through your calls at a rate of 60 to 80 dials an hour. Now, in order to get HubSpot and PhoneBurner working together, you're gonna to need to install at least one application in HubSpot. Now, why do I say at least one? Now, there are actually two PhoneBurner apps that you can install from the HubSpot marketplace. The first one is built by HubSpot. This is a data sync between HubSpot and PhoneBurner allowing you to determine which contacts and what fields or properties from those contacts should sync from your HubSpot account to your PhoneBurner account. Now the other app is an app that was built by PhoneBurner to allow you to log call and email activities that happen in PhoneBurner back to HubSpot so that all of those activities that are happening in PhoneBurner are also showing up as calls and emails in HubSpot. So now that you understand why there are two separate apps in HubSpot, let's talk about these. Let's first talk about the HubSpot data sync. So when you create a link between HubSpot and PhoneBurner using the PhoneBurner HubSpot data sync app, you'll be able to determine what contacts should be syncing both ways between PhoneBurner and HubSpot. Now, in most cases, you're probably going to have a specific list of contacts in HubSpot that you want to have synced over to PhoneBurner. So if a contact is part of X list, bring those contacts over to PhoneBurner. And when you sync a contact over to PhoneBurner, what fields, you know, what properties need to be mapped over to PhoneBurner so that you have the information you most care about inside of PhoneBurner so that you can update it and edit it while making calls. So let's take a quick look at some of these fields. So as you can see here, there's quite a few default fields that are mapped automatically between HubSpot and PhoneBurner when you turn on any link between HubSpot and PhoneBurner using the data sync. And there's the ability to also create custom mappings. Now there are a few types of fields that you can map between PhoneBurner and HubSpot. Text fields, date fields, and check boxes. And as you can see here, I've got a few examples of each of those. Text, date, and checkbox. Now there's two other fields that I'd like to mention here that I consider to be important ones that, that you should be considering as a custom map. The first one is the dial session status. So as you're making calls with PhoneBurner, and let me show you what that looks like if you haven't seen a dial session in PhoneBurner. Let's go ahead and start dialing. So every time you make a call in PhoneBurner, you see these buttons down here across the bottom of the screen? That's going to set the status of that contact, right? What was the outcome of that call? What was the status of that call? That's going to log that information to the record in PhoneBurner. And you might want to have that information also in HubSpot so you know what the outcome of the last call in PhoneBurner was when you're looking at the records in HubSpot. So while we've got this record up here real quick, let's just talk about a few of these fields. So as I pointed out, there are some fields that I've mapped between PhoneBurner and HubSpot using the data sync. So I've got this date field. I can go ahead and update this date field. Maybe I want to check this box. It wasn't checked today. Now I want to check it. Maybe there's a field where I need to add some text to it. So anyway, those are the three field types that you're going to most likely be mapping between PhoneBurner and HubSpot. And of course, there is a notes field here that we can add notes while we're making calls through PhoneBurner. And then of course, let's go ahead and disposition this. Let's go ahead and mark this one as set appointment. And let's move this window off the screen. So anyway, we talked about the dial session status. We talked about notes. When a contact is dispositioned in PhoneBurner, we want to sync that information over to HubSpot. Now, two other things I wanna point out regarding fields. I think I already commented on notes already, but you might wanna create a large text box in HubSpot that you can sync two ways between the notes field in PhoneBurner and HubSpot. Another field that you'll probably want to map between PhoneBurner and HubSpot is the current folder technical ID. You see, in PhoneBurner, we use folders to help you manage and organize your data. And each folder technically has an ID associated with it. So you can actually sync the folder ID that they're in in PhoneBurner to a specific field or property in HubSpot. 
Now, once you create all these mappings, then of course you can use workflows to automatically update and change records in both PhoneBurner and HubSpot based off of changes that are happening in either one of those systems. So that's the data sync, right? Getting records from HubSpot over to PhoneBurner or vice versa, records from PhoneBurner over to HubSpot. But what about the other integration, the PhoneBurner integration, the one that's built by PhoneBurner? The whole point of that integration is to take the call and email activities that happen in PhoneBurner and log that information back to HubSpot. So let's take a quick look at our record. So this is the last person we called. Let's go ahead and grab their email address. Let's go back to HubSpot and let's do a quick search for this record. There's that record. And if we take a look at this record here, you'll see the call that I just placed to that contact and set an appointment with, that activity has logged back to HubSpot. And since I have call recording turned on in PhoneBurner, the call recording is also going to show up in HubSpot. Now let's take a quick look at the HubSpot properties, the fields, right? So let's go to over here. So we've got um, the folder ID. So that's the current folder that the contact is in in PhoneBurner. Now I know that doesn't really mean much to you because it's just a folder ID, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do with that. The next one is the checkbox. You can see that that's been updated. It's now checked, yes. The phone burner date field, right? That HubSpot date field that we updated in, in phone burner is now updated in HubSpot. You can see our text, here are the details. Our notes have been updated, that note field has been updated. And the phone burner call status has been updated. So as you can see, using the HubSpot data sync, you can start syncing contacts back and forth between HubSpot. And then using the phone burner app, you can start logging call and email activities between the two systems. Anyway, thanks for taking a moment to watch this video. I hope it's helped you better understand how you can take advantage of phone burners so that you and your team can start getting more done in less time using the power of phone burner with HubSpot. Thanks again and happy dialing.